<laughs> Having an amusing hallucination, are we? Hmm? I was just thinking back to one of my favorite scope statements that you created back in the old days before we did projects correctly. I think I recall the statement was something like, pushing back the frontiers of technology until we were became clear leaders on the information stage. <laughs> that was just so stupid. <laughs> I remember that one. So, did we ever finish that project? Did we push back the frontiers of information technology? <laughs> no, it's been it definitely postponed. It seems there were engines on the frontier. <laughs> that project scope actually inspired people. Right. Okay, well now they want explicit, explicit measures of success criteria, which we are going to work a whole lot on. And we're going to do this better because it's going to give you, Carmen, the ability <laughs> to say no. Yes. So, what we need to do is explore alternatives and analyze the product of the project. What do you mean? I say no all the time, especially to stupid users who have stupid requirements. <laughs> Well, this new kind of scope statement is going to let us specifically detail the kinds of things we want excluded from the project. Mm -hmm. So it's also going to give us the explicit measurable criteria that we'll use to judge the success of the project as a whole. Right, and so that way when somebody wants to add a requirement to the project, like um, it's not necessary to meet the project success criteria and it shouldn't be included. Uh, I see what you meant when the, you said it was going to be easier for me to say no. All right. So the project scope defines what has to be in the project. Right. Instead of the old way, where a user came to you with a new requirement, and you said no, and then they escalated it up to the boss, and uh, the hierarchy, and then someone else told you to add it. Yeah, without increases in budget or duration. We both know exactly. that doesn't work, so. Okay. okay. I'm starting to buy the new techniques, but what are we going to do with all those requirements we spent all that time uh, gathering? Didn't you read my requirements? Every request that users had was specifically matched with data on the base and the business value and metrics that the requester is responsible for generating. I really liked it a lot better when I was fighting with you users, seeing you as the enemy, but <laughs> with these new techniques we're both on the same side of the table trying to make sure the project succeeds. Okay, so let's get started. We have a project charter that tells us uh, that we have to achieve, uh, let's see, what is it, 10% cost reduction company-wide. And it also gives us the major deliverables, which are listed as the dollar amount of the savings for each division. Right, so one of the high-level deliverables, and the one that I'm accountable for delivering, is $250,000 in cost savings in my operations division. All right, well, I think we're going to have to lay out the, those specific deliverables so you can deliver that savings. So I think we'll have to define it using the upgrading uh, features and the business results automation that we have to give you. Well, we're very much working top down here, uh, higher level deliverables to lower level deliver lower level deliverables. Um, we're going to have to break down what Monique needs to produce those deliverables that she's accountable for. Mm -hmm. So, where do you want to start, Monique? Well, uh, the biggest single target is customer billing, where we have to print the customer bill, then stuff them into envelopes, and then mail them out. But we need to automate that. Well, uh, would you want to just make it completely electronic where you email the bill to the customer instead of mailing them a physical piece of paper? I hadn't thought about that. I was actually thinking of a way to automate the manual process of producing and mailing out a physical paper bill. It actually maximize our savings by emailing the bill to the customer or even putting it on a password protected site that the customer could get to from the internet. And. Um, you know, actually, the way that we could engineer well, Carmen, that... that's that's great thinking, but, you know, really, before we get to the technical details, let's develop some other alternatives, you know, to the actual cut the billing costs. Well, Monique's original idea of just automating the clerical part of the billing process might warrant uh, more investigation. Maybe we could use computers to take the information while the salesperson is actually taking the order and just automatically generate the bill right then and there. I mean, of course, I've got cost target savings, too, so we can, I can afford to increase marketing costs you know, while we try to streamline the week's process. But. Well, we have a couple alternatives for this deliverable of $250,000 cost savings. Um, let's weigh the costs and the benefits, decide which alternative really fits into our scope statement, and how we'll define the features and the solution. 
Yeah. Defining the scope this way really helps me keep out the junk in the project that used to make me finish late and over budget. 